Hey, it looks like you came to see a video on how to open your device without unlocking it, so this video is for you. Here you go. Hi, we're going to continue our uh, duo for dummies, if you will, uh, how-tos, whatever you want to call them. I don't think any of you are dummies, but anyway, you have one of these devices, carry them around. You have situations you think you'd just like for it to be unlocked. You find it too cumbersome to press the, uh, or not even press, just lay your finger across the uh, fingerprint sensor. Or maybe the fingerprint sensor isn't working. I don't know. Maybe you've damaged it. Regardless, let's uh, take a look and see how to make it easier for your device to be unlocked. Okay, whenever you open up your device and Smart Lock recognizes something that has been set up, you'll see down here at the bottom it says kept unlocked by trust agent. So the device is right now unlocked. I have not, to, so you see the lock screen. I'm not going to touch the um, fingerprint button. I'm just going to swipe up and because the device is unlocked, even though it's showing the lock screen, it is unlocked. So now let's look and see how we can set up Smart Lock. We're going to need to go into Settings. Then we're going to need to go to Security. And then down here at the bottom, near the bottom, you'll see Smart Lock. I have to enter a PIN. Okay, so let's... After we enter our PIN, you'll see that Smart Lock's got three options. I never use the on-body detection. That stays unlocked while it's on you if you come in it's it'll tell you that it stays unlocked while it's in motion like when you're walking your device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you put it down I don't like that option I think that's less secure well, one could argue none of these are secure trusted places here at home Certainly that's, I don't have to worry about too much about who gets into my device here at home. I do not have any other trusted places because my office is also here at home. So I don't have to set up my workplace. You could set up your workplace. You, uh, you can set up other places if you feel like you can trust that environment. So you have to be careful with that. You need to be able to trust the environment. And the third one is trusting devices, and that'll be devices that are paired with the phone. For example, mine says the uh, Galaxy Active Watch, so my watch is paired with it, or my Galaxy Pro Buds. Now, certainly there's the possibility that one or the other could get stolen at the same time, though I doubt it. The most likely thing is, is you have this out and uh, you leave it. Doubtful you would leave the watch and doubtful you would leave your earbuds. But anyway, you set these up. Let's look at trusted devices. You'll see the Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Buds, the Buick, and then I can add other devices. And yes, I do have some other devices paired, but I'm not going to trust them, like my laptop, for example. Um, but you can add any device. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully this makes your experiences with your device maybe a little better. Although unlocking by fingerprint is just so fast and easy and it's not cumbersome at all um, it's it's by far the easiest device i have or have had uh, as far as uh, fingerprint recognition and that includes samsung devices and iphones and motorola okay i hope you found that useful if you did thumbs ups are really good and uh share it with other people let other people know if they need some help that's what i'm here to do which means hey uh you can share the video but also subscribe uh thanks for watching give me some comments down below thank you